thank you for being here. Uh, my presentation uh, will be about state based ideological policy, spirituality, and enlightenment in Uzbekistan. We now, uh, after the collapse of the Soviet Union, each Central Asian country uh, has attempted to change the society according to the demands of new times. In fact, each of them uh, has attempted to carry out uh, cultural reforms uh, or reform national identity. Practically, uh, it was an attempt to change national mentality. Uh, transformation of social cultural life in Uzbekistan was held in a very peculiar way. Uh, in fact, after the call of the Soviet Union, a uh, system has been uh, created in Uzbekistan, imposed traditional institutions, um, uh, which still dominate in society and historical clannish relations uh, have been modified un only under modern requirements. Uh, if we see current uh, spirituality uh, and enlightenment policy uh, in, in Uzbek language, it, is, uh, it will Manaviat uh, Marifat. I call this ideology uh, ideology without philosophical platform. Uh, there is no any philosophical disputes or some kind of books, only some kind of books, uh, high spirituality, uh, invisible force. Uh, this book is a uh, roadmap for this uh, ideological platform. Uh, according to this ideology, uh, the state took responsibility for the process uh, of uh, reformation of Uzbek nation and has uh, achieved some success. Uh, government is driving force for many aspects of life, including cultural aspects or self-identity of the citizens. Uh, the new ideology, uh, after the fall of Soviet Union, uh, remained unclear uh, and sometimes in Uzbekistan leaders couldn't uh, really suggest uh, new ideas instead of old ideology communism. For the first time, uh, Uzbek government uh, was implem uh, implemented uh, pan-Turkistic ideology, pan-Turkism, uh, just because uh, Turkey was a role model until 1996. Uh, however, political elite in the fact of former communist nomenclature uh, could not clearly understand uh, understand border of uh, Turkic world or Turkic solidarity. Uh, and uh, pan-Turkism was used uh, for pulling votes from nationalist and opposition parties like Erik and Berlik after the defeat uh, of which uh, the government didn't need this ideology any longer. Uh, Practically since 1996 until 19, uh, 2000, the state didn't uh, have any uh, didn't have any policy. Uh, propaganda cultivated uh, cultivated uh, the cult of personality of like Karimov, uh, who won independence. Uh, but nobody could say whether uh, the state would follow uh, Soviet period or uh, Bukharin Soviet Republic or Timurids, etc. Uh, uh, what is Manaviat? Uh, uh, with the consolidation of authoritarian rule and Karimov's power, Uzbekistan new ideologues have developed new philosophical concept. Uh, according to this ideology, uh, state is a main keeper of moral principles and traditions of the nation. Uh, it's well known that uh, it's, it well known fact that. Uh, Without isolation, uh, without uh, real, con uh, real concentration of the power, uh, seems to be impossible without cultural isolation. Uh, founding father of this ideology, Manaviat and Marifat, the spiritual and enlightenment, uh, was academic uh, Ozot Sharafidinov. Uh, uh, he is Uzbek intellectual uh, writer who served as a biographer and an official head of court were writers of Islam Karim's book, Islam Karim's books. There are some uh, way with positive aspects of this ideology. Uh, for example, if we see to positive attitudes, 
uh, this ideology prefers moderate model in political life, uh, does not ignore classic Western culture, uh, does not ignore, ignore a necessity of economic and political modernization, uh, and takes, takes off conservative agenda without reference to Islamism. Uh, and also, in fact, uh, segregation by clan and original affiliation among young people was eradicated. It's similar archaic when a marriage is built and, or broken uh, based on principle of coincidence or not coincidence by uh, clan, tribal, or regional affiliation. Current, uh, current government uh, has succeeded in transforming the clan relations. Uh, Islam Karimov could destroy this clan, clan relationship in Uzbekistan. Uh, and uh, Manaviat standardization policy plays a key role uh, for destroying these uh, clan relationships. Negative uh, attitudes. Uh, nowadays, propaganda uh, of Manaviat and Marifat, uh, spiritual enlightenment, uh, Created uh, belief that uh, believing uh, among the people that uh, spirituality rather than economic prosperity. Uh, they critic, uh, they critic against, uh, they uh, make uh, made some critics against modern Western culture. They, for example, they didn't uh, don't mock uh, classic Western culture, but modern Western culture uh, is under the critics. Uh, they against uh, globalization and mass and pop culture. Uh, they um, made monopolization of patriotism by the state, and uh, any criticism is viewed as a threat to state stability. Uh, Current program, uh, Manaviat Marifat actually proposes a closed community suggesting a cultural isolation. Uh, this program contribu contributes to build intolerant society. Uh, for example, uh, very famous pop singer Lola uh, was subject to pressure by the members of this community and reason of this banning uh, from TV and radio was her <laughs> red dress. Uh, according to uh, represents uh, of Manaviat and Marifat, uh, it's shame that uh, Uzbek woman uh, wears the, uh, such uh, dress. And second, uh, for example, uh, Abdulaziz Karim also banned from TV and radio uh, because uh, he also uh, uh, do, doesn't uh, answer to requirements of this Manavid criteria. And he moved to Turkey uh, and received a Turkish passport from Ahmed Dautoglu. And nowadays he continues his uh, working in, uh, as a musician in Turkey. Uh, second example uh, is that the uh, cultural workers uh, use repressive machines and measures, uh, and uh, for uh, one of the most outstanding filmmakers of Uzbekistan, Zulfikar Musakov, uh, had to write an open letter against uh, brutal censorship carried out by state television. Uh, and also, uh, he was banned from TV. Uh, he banned from uh, any government uh, uh, government uh, some kind of uh, concert from a film festival and his uh, some film uh, was uh, under the standard in Uzbekistan. Uh, spirituality and enlightenment uh, plays key role in educational sphere. Each university, each schools, uh, each uh, uh, department in Uzbekistan uh, has, uh, has a department of uh, spirituality and enlightenment. Uh, they control uh, educational process uh, in Uzbekistan. Uh, uh, they monitoring uh, all uh, aspects of life in university. <coughs> 
from wearing uh, from poses till uh, some uh, some festivals or students' uh, life. Uh, uh, this the second uh, high level personal in university, for example, is a deputy director on spiritual enlightenment uh, who controls also teachers. Uh, and uh, it doesn't matter uh, which, for example, teachers uh, educate to students, uh, mathematics or geopolicy, he, he also should prepare some portfolio of spiritual enlightenment in his lecture. Uh, it's uh, absurd and uh, nowadays uh, works very well in Uzbekistan. Uh, what's the next? Uh, I think uh, after uh, uh, deceiving uh, Islam Karimov, uh, there are two ways. Two ways. Uh, one way it's optimistic when government uh, makes order to close this spiritual enlightenment uh, community in Uzbekistan. Uh, uh, because uh, this authoritarian self-protection uh, ideology does not answer to modern uh, uh, to modern uh, problems, uh, and also uh, it's a unique uh, situation when uh, special service workers uh, from secret police and uh, some kind of intelligentsia joined. Uh, uh, join together against opponents, uh, liberal trends, uh, and uh, any criticism. Uh, uh, they uh, penetrated all institutions, uh, all departments in Uzbekistan, and controls all life. And it's a huge uh, problem for budget of the government. Uh, uh, and. Uh, they uh, may be uh, can uh, can be closed in near future. Uh, uh, philosophically, new president uh, Shokat Mirziyoyev is uh, drastically different uh, from Islam Karimov. Uh, for example, uh, President Mirziyoyev condemns uh, such model. He doesn't have an interest uh, on isolation in isolation or nor cultural nor economical. Uh, and months ago, he declared the, uh, in the first place the national values, particular rhetoric, should be eliminated uh, because uh, it's cultural uh, isolation and manipulation of public opinion uh, against the interests of Uzbekistan. Uh, weeks ago, uh, state televisions uh, stopped so called propaganda, uh, propaganda so called Western cultural uh, colonization. Uh, and now, uh, propaganda on TV uh, uh, goes on about uh, self-criticism in uh, Uzbekistan. Uh, but unfortunately, education system uh, did not uh, be ide ideologized. Uh, nowadays, schools uh, play an extensive role uh, in spreading the idea of exclusive moral in spiritual uh, values and studies and students uh, study manipulative works uh, and uh, a lot of students under the pressure from this Manavia policy. Uh, so, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Our next speaker.